Good day, guys. If you've tried to transfer the ROMs on your stock SD card over to your fresh install using a USB SD reader connected to the OTG port of your R36S, you may have noticed when trying to mount the SD card, only the boot partition is mounted. Thankfully, it is possible to manually mount the Easy ROMs partition, but you do need a USB hub as well as a USB keyboard. To get started, you just want to connect your USB SD reader with your stock SD card already inserted into your USB hub. And you also want to connect your USB keyboard to your USB hub. Once they're both connected, you can connect your USB hub to your R36S or R36H. Starting from the home screen, you want to press start, go down to quit, and quit emulation station. Select yes. You should now have a blank screen with a blinking cursor at the top left. On your USB keyboard, hold alt and press F2 and it should bring you to the login screen. Both the username and password are ARK for ARK, so ARK and ARK. Before we mount our stock SD cards easy ROMs partition, we just wanna make sure it was detected. Type in CD space slash DEV, and then type in LS to list all the files in this directory. Our stock SD card should show up as SDA, and since we are looking for the third partition, we wanna find SDA3. We can see at the top in the middle row, we do have SDA, SDA1, 2, and 3. So there's our stock SD card. To mount it, all we have to do is type in sudo space mount, and then the partition we want to mount, which is dev SDA3 space, and then where we want to mount it to. The default mount point ArcOS uses is under mount slash USB device. So we'll just use that to keep it simple. So slash MNT slash USB drive. You can press tab to auto complete. Just press enter. And after a second or two, it should be mounted. We can double check it is mounted and typing in LS, it should list all of these system folders and it does. So this is our stock SD cards, easy ROMs partition. If you're familiar with Linux command line, you can obviously copy the files over through here, but to keep it simple, we'll restart emulation station. To do that, sudo space system CTL space restart space emulation station and press enter. It should automatically load back into the home screen, which it has. And from here, we'll use the built-in file manager. So just go down to options and go down to file manager. So by default, file manager loads the easy ROMs partition of our internal SD that it booted from, which is the one in uh, slot one. So I think we'll keep the left-hand side our internal SD, which is in slot one. And we'll make the right-hand side our stock SD card connected through the USB SD reader. So I'm just pressing right to highlight the right-hand side. I'll press B to go back, go up to MNT and go down to USB drive. So here's all of these system files on our easy ROMs partition on our stock SD card. If you wanted to copy everything over on this screen here, you just press Y, make sure select all is highlighted and press A to highlight everything and then press X and make sure copies highlighted and press A again. It will take quite a while to copy 64 gig of ROMs over though. So just keep that in mind. To cancel, just press B. Instead, I think I'll copy a single ROM over just to show that it works. Go down to Game Boy. Here's all our Game Boy games, and I think I'll copy Adventures of Lolo. By default, the location that it copies to when you select copy is just the folder that's currently selected on the left. So I don't want to copy it to the root of our EasyRoms partition. Instead, I want to press left to highlight our internal SD. I want to go down to Game Boy. So now you can see on the left, we've got ROM slash Game Boy. That's our Game Boy folder on our internal SD that it's booted from. So from here, we'll just press X to bring up the context menu and make sure copy's highlighted, which it is, and just press A, and it's copied. Again, if you wanted to do an entire directory, once you're inside the directory you want, press Y, press A to select all, so they've all gone red now, press X, and then press copy. You can see it does say 608 selected. You can use L1 and R1 to jump pages, which is quite handy. And to quit out, just press Y, and go down to quit, and press A. Once you've finished copying your files over, they won't show up just yet, you do need to restart emulation station. To do that, just go down to quit, and select restart emulation station. And you can see our Adventures of Lolo ROM has copied. That's all there is to it. If you don't have access to a USB SD reader, you may be able to use slot two on your R36S handheld. Not all SD cards will work in slot two, so this might not work for you, but the steps would be the same. Just instead of mounting SDA3, you would mount MMC BLK1 P3. Not to be confused with MMC BLK0 P3, which is the third partition on the SD card in slot one. If you have access to a laptop or computer, it's much, much easier using that to copy it over. But if you don't have access to any other device and all you have is the R36S itself, then this is one possible way to copy your stock ROMs over to your fresh install. 
If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.